up guys, Alec Mac 111 welcome back to another video and it is time for story time with Alec Mac. So before we get into story time and how I kind of got screwed, um, I first want to say you guys that bought the mystery boxes on the last sale video were awesome. I sold like 20 of them in the first 24 slash 48 hours. I've shipped out eight of them. I'm working on the rest, but it's only one person. I'm trying to get stuff in and out because I want to give you guys good value in those mystery boxes. Honestly, I definitely undercharged for them. I've given the first eight people a lot of really good stuff and I think you guys have messaged me back, those of you that bought it. Um, there will be a wave too. I think I'm going to do that sometime in like September slash Christmas. We'll see how that comes to. But it's unboxing time. And so first thing, um, this is a little bit confusing. So my last sale video, not the one that just happened, but the one before that I sold a sniper rifle to a dude named Doug. I sold it to him and then immediately he was like, I don't want it anymore. I, I re like, I, he just basically said that he bought it and then he was like, he changed his mind. So he didn't want it anymore. My problem is I went, as soon as you guys pay me, a lot of times I will go and I will pay for a label and I will print it. So I paid 2470, I packed this gun up, paid for the label and then he changed his mind and I've never had anybody change their mind before like this, at least that quickly before they paid me. I've had a lot of people that are second guessing all the way up until they pay me. Usually once someone pays me though, it's game over and everybody's pretty happy. I throw in stickers and patches for free just because I appreciate you guys. Um, and this is what I do, I sell airsoft guns, so it's a blast. Um, but with this deal, I was a little bit confused because the dude bought it and then he's like, nah, he changed his mind and so, I ended up packing the gun, I shipped it out to him, and he was really inconsistent the whole time. He was like, I want it, and then he didn't want it, and then he was like working me on prices. So we agreed to $175 ship for this. Um, if you guys want to say yes or no, that's a good deal. I think this was an awesome deal for both of us. I think a gun, a whole sniper rifle, four magazines, and a really nice scope for $175 shipped when this package cost me $24.20 to ship it. We'll get into that a little bit later, how I kind of got screwed with that. I think that's a good price. So we're going to get into the boxing. Um, this is a, I'm not exactly sure brand-wise on the gun that's the hard part with identifying some of these guns but this is an l96 sniper rifle i believe it's like a, a tokyo murray clone one of it's just at least, it's obviously called tokyo murray clone because everybody pretty much clones tokyo murray stuff but none of the trades are ever on any of these guns which kind of sucks so it's really hard to identify them all right wrapped everything that's how alec mac 111 way to go is um just try and wrap my packages intentionally. I try and wrap them and then tape them usually to just make sure the stuff doesn't kind of move around Alec Mac one on one tips when shipping. So I shipped in this entire gun. I'm not going to put it together because it takes a little bit and I need a screwdriver, but I shipped in this entire L96 for the purpose of the video. We'll just use this. So this L96, I believe it's like an AGM one. It was basically, I think it was like $160 off of e-bike. I got it in a mystery box. I think I paid $150 for this and got like a spring gun and a little bit of stuff. So this is a nice gun. It feels really solid externally. It is not cheap. It is not one of those cheap uh, repros. This one is actually pretty solid and it's pretty nice. And I gave him four magazines with it as well. So these are like the Springer magazines, threw it in the Chubby's box. Chubby's, if you want to sponsor me, what up? Um, I gave him four of these magazines. So there's three here and then this is the one that came with them. These magazines were like $15, $20 a piece. And then I also included a pretty nice sniper scope with it as well. Now he did not actually end up using any of these. He did not even open it because what happened, I sent the package to him and he had said something like, I'm just gonna send it back or whatever. But I figured PayPal would have my back because they have seller and buyer protection. I paid PayPal like thousands of dollars over the year just in fees of stuff I'm sold, I'm sure. And so I figured PayPal would have my back as well as his. And I did not think that PayPal would allow him to get the money back based on, hey, I changed my mind. I thought it was for seller protection. If I sent him something and it was broken, always use that if you don't trust the person. It's a 3.3% fee, but it's pretty good to be honest. And I use that if I don't trust somebody or if they don't have a lot of vouchers, most of the people that buy from me do not use that fee because they know I'm legit. I'm gonna send everything. There's no reason for me not to send you something when you pay for it. That's just how business and transactions work. Um, but I sent him this gun and before he even got it, he literally got it and he refused it. So he sent it straight back to them. And before the package even came back to me, he got sent all the money back. I saw that PayPal removed all the money from my account and sent it back to him. And I was really confused because I was like, what? I, I, I literally shipped it to him. And before I even got the, the gun back or anything could be figured, hey, there's something wrong with it. Um, I called him, I was like, hey, what's wrong? Um, and so I kind of got screwed by Doug and by PayPal. And it was kind of like sucky because I had to pay $24.20 to ship it, which I lost the money on. And then I had to pay $24.70 or $24.20 to get the gun back. So I paid $50 to ship the gun and get it back for nothing in exchange, which kind of sucks because I sold it for $1.75 ship. So if any of you maybe want this gun for that, um, I'll ship it literally back in the same box right to you. Um, but it kind of sucks. So this is a life lesson. Learn this from me. Hopefully you guys don't have to learn it the hard way like I did. Most of the time with my buyers, I never really have any issues because you guys usually 
love me and usually most of you are pretty and if there's stuff wrong i really try like if this if there was something broken with this gun or something was wrong with it when he buys it from me i will almost always try to work with people i understand shipping and airsoft stuff things just break but if there's an issue and you're a buyer from me i always try and help no matter what way i will ask some questions to kind of get to know whether it was your fault or usps's fault or my fault but for the most part i will try and help people either send partial refunds or i'll have them ship the gun back to me fix it free of charge and then send the gun back to them as well because I just want to try and help. I don't think there's any reason to not help the community, but I got screwed and so I'm gonna send this gun. I'll probably list this gun back up as well. It kind of sucks because I really like, I thought that PayPal would have my back and so I tried to call them, but basically PayPal's logic is if the person who has sent the money does not have their item, then they get their money back right away, which is I think is really stupid logic because you could have refused this and then this gets broken in the transit back to me now, granted, I guess that would be on USPS's fault, not on PayPal's, but they would not help me or anything, so I am out $50 on this entire package, which sucks, so that means this is, I have to make $220-ish in order to get my money back on this gun. That will not happen, I will not expect that, but it sucks, and then the dude actually ended up like just blocking me on Instagram. I was trying to have a conversation with him afterwards, and he blocked me. Um, so it is what it is, but things like that happen. I appreciate you for those of you that have supported me consistently I love it when you guys buy for my collection videos I think it's fun to be able to do sales slash collection videos and then you guys buy stuff from me because that works for me Then I can get stuff and I can repeat the cycle then if you guys pay me I can buy more collections and the same thing So we have a lot more content running through I have not bought a collection in like three weeks And so content is a little bit slower right now But I have two more that are hopefully in the works for like the next week or two And so those are obviously just more exciting I think you guys enjoy those a little bit more and I enjoy making them as well because I think it's fun getting all the stuff and then selling it out, slash piecing it out, slash messing with it, and just testing new guns. But this has been Alec Mac 101. I appreciate you guys. I'll see you soon.